THE GOLDEN ARM Now once there lived a man and his wife. The man was an ordinary man. After supper every night, he would take a seat in front of the fireplace and watch the fire, watch the smoke of the fire disappear beneath the chimney. He would light his pipe and, and watch the smoke rings curl beneath the chimney. Now the unusual person in this family was the wife. After she finished washing the dishes and straightening the house, or whatever it was that she did after supper, she would settle down with her husband before the fire. She would take into her right hand a very soft cloth. Then she would place her hand before her chest and rub that cloth across her arm and hand for you see her left arm and hand were made of pure solid gold every night she would polish and shine that golden arm one night as she polished and shined the golden arm she said to her husband if anything should happen to me, I want you to promise me that you will bury me with my golden arm. If I should die before you, will you promise me that you will bury me with my golden arm? And her husband said, Huh? What? What does that mean? Yes, he said, I promise you. Well, years and years went by, and one day the woman passed away. The night before they buried her, her husband started to think about it. I can't let them bury that gold. Why, if I had that golden arm, I could buy myself a brand new house. If I had the gold from that golden arm, I could buy myself a brand new suit of clothes. If I had the gold from the golden arm, I could buy myself a wagon and ten white horses. So he went to the place, and he cut off the golden arm, and they buried his wife without her golden arm. The next night, he stood in front of the fireplace, holding the golden arm, talking to himself. <laughs> I've got the gold from the golden arm. <laughs> I shall buy myself a brand new house. <laughs> I shall buy myself a wagon and Twenty white horses. <laughs> I shall buy myself a brand new suit of clothes. <laughs> and just then, he looked up through the window, and the sky that had been so bright and blue with stars was now dark, dark, dark. And all of a sudden, the wind started to blow harder and harder and harder. And over the sound of the wind, he heard, Where's my golden arm? Oh, said he, who is that? Oh, he said, it's just my imagination. There's nobody there. But he went over to the window, just to be sure. And he looked out again. And the sky was darker and darker. And the wind blew harder and harder. And the voice was louder and louder. Who's got my golden arm? Oh, he said, who knows that I have this arm? I must hide it. I must hide my golden arm. So he looked all around the house, and there was only one place, a closet. He reached 
toward the wall where there hung a key to the closet. He pulled the key from the wall, ran over to the closet door, opened it, and just before he stepped inside, he looked around again through the window. And the sky was darker and darker, and the wind blew harder and harder, but this time the voice was just at the front door. Where's my golden arm? He stepped into the closet, slammed the door, and locked the door. Oh, he said, I'm safe. Nobody will ever take this golden arm away from me now. (laughs) But then he realized that inside the closet it was dark, dark, dark. And all around the house the wind blew harder and harder and harder and the door that had been locked now opened all by itself. (laughs) And he could hear the voice coming across the room. Who's got my... You've got my golden arm and the ghost of his wife grabbed that golden arm turned around ran through the house leaped through the window and nobody's ever seen that ghost or the golden arm again and that's the end of that